Now with the rail on the track, South Carolina's hottest producer. And we want to have a one-on-one -on -one session with him. How you doing, Nindai? Doing good, doing good. How y'all doing? All right. Um, tell us what the rail on the track means to you. The rail on the track to me is producing perfection. Trying to bring a new sound, a new abstract. Just everything that we haven't heard in a while to the table. Something new, you know. It's good to be a part of Hard Time ENT with D&D &D Entertainment. The hood loud. Just making it happen. Um, tell the fans in the world a little bit about yourself and a little bit about your well, music, music background. My background was way back. My dad was a drummer. My uncle was a drummer. My brother was a, a keyboard, a piano, um, an So I got a little bit of experience on the drum. I started off in the church playing and I and I started playing in the clubs, me and my brother with my dad, you know. And I took a whole nother direction. I wanted to just, just do something different than what you was hearing on the street. Just to try a different, you know, a different swap. Oh yeah, just like I was saying, you know, coming up in the music, uh, back in the uh, eight, late 80s, 90s, I had a real strong run, but the talent wasn't there. So, you know, I connected back with my little brother and he brought everything to the table that I needed to bring me back into it. So, you know, this is the beginning of something that's going to go real big. You know? um, how do you um, feel about the music scene now? Well, I mean, I feel the music scene right now is, is, is different. It's, it's, I can't judge it because it's, it's a different age. I mean, just like our parents didn't like our age of music, you know, and their parents didn't like their age of music. I think we're going through the same transition. But I mean, the beats are really nice, you know, even though some of the artists are not saying a lot. I still think the beats are, I mean, the beats are real good. And uh, that's that's why we're coming in, trying to bring our own little suave to the beat, you know? Trying to do something different. Coming out of the South, South Carolina, all the artists pretty much moved to other places to make it. So we're trying to make it where they can do it right here in South Carolina with that different beat, that different swag. Um, if you could describe your sound, how would you describe your sound in music? I would describe my sound being of a jazz gospel background. I would call it, I would call it a touch of jazz with a touch of hip hop. With a touch of, just a touch of maybe, maybe a little, a little classic. But it's all, it's all blending with an R&B sound, with a hip hop sound, to make something brand new. On the hot single you got with Kata Mafioso and David Davis, Visions of a Dream, um, what was it like making that single? Well, it was, it was real fun making that single because Lil Bro came to me and he wanted something with no beat. He approached me with it and I knew when he came to me with that, to not have a beat, you have to put a lot in the music, in the background. I mean, you have to reach out. And so when he reached out to me, I went into something mine that I've always had in my repertoire. And I just came up with something, something kind of mellow, dramatic, you know. And these guys, they like took it to a whole nother level, you know. I came right here, and them boys, they, they rocked it through the roof. And the single is beautiful. Tell us what to expect for you in the near future. Well, in the future, we got a lot of things coming on. We we got we got Cardi Mafia who, who hasn't released his album yet. We got a Durrell on the track on the track combo with Hard Grind with Grind Hard Radio. I'm sorry, Grind Hard Radio with some of their with some of their guests. So we're gonna put together a collabo and we're gonna just reach out to all the cities and we I mean. We, uh, we're reaching out to everybody on that. That's you can look forward to that. All right, last question uh -huh. for you. Um, if if it's one thing you want the fans to remember you by when you're gone, mm -hmm. what would it be and why? I would want the fans to remember the music because the music I'm giving you all of me. I'm not giving you something you heard here, something you heard there. I'm giving you all that's inside of me. I'm pulling everything out and I'm giving it to the fans and I. If anything I want them to remember by, it's the music. It's the beats, the music, the whole hard grind, D&D &D family.
It's like I said, the way we reach out to everybody, you know, we're trying to bring everybody apart. We're not trying to be just a clique to go against another clique, to go against another clique. We're not into battling right now. We're into taking people and helping them build their dreams. So, you know, I, if anything, I want to be remembered for that legacy, the giving, not the getting. Okay. Um, how can the fans reach you on social media? Well, I have a... Um, they can reach me on Darrell Goodwin on Facebook. I'm on I'm at uh, dgood21 on Instagram, and uh, they can just reach me at the studio. It's like I say, D and D. <laughs> we at the studio doing it. There. Hey, if you got dreams and you want somebody to nourish your dreams, come to D and D. Hood loud, hard time. We take care of you.